You say hi? We decided that I am going to do a child labor. And so now I'm just switch hospitals. <coughs> or doctor's offices due to like, they don't have the resources for that. And then, today is also a morale day for my shop. So I don't, we're gonna get lunch together at the shop and then we are doing an escape room. Um, looks like today i'll try to get some footage um i'm wearing my squadron morale shirt um okay, i'm watching this show that he found on youtube it's like these it's like a safety show i would say it's teaching like safety to kids so it's kind of it's cute he really likes it so so today I'm supposed to be getting my new car. I'm so excited. And then today is like a weird day at work. I don't know if it's gonna be a full day. I don't know if it's gonna be a half day. It kind of depends how things go. And um, I'm just kind of I'm just super excited for today because I get my car, like I said, which is super exciting. So the Fiesta will officially be my mom's car, and I am getting a. And I've already talked about, sorry, there's cream cheese on my face. A 2013 Toyota Highlander, which I'm so excited about because I wanted a bigger car um, for the purpose of, like I said, like all of our cars only have five seats and to have two car seats and then us, there's no room for anybody else because the middle seats aren't like massive. So, or like, you know, one of the car seats will be in the middle, but like, you know, they're not massive cars, so. Hey guys, so I got my new car. I'm sorry that I look like this. I feel, I like just woke up and went and got coffee. So I had a nightmare, which woke me up. So I was up for like an hour and a half and I was like, you know, I'm gonna go get some coffee. So I went and got some coffee um, for everybody. I got myself one, my fiance one and my mom one. showing you around so this is like the steering wheel so here's the steering wheel and then like um that focuses um the like dashboard um and then over here is the this time is wrong but like it has like the temperature how much miles you have left um miles to the gallon um I like music it also has like maps and stuff like that um that stuff it has like a ton of cup holders which i think is amazing um why is there a seat over there this is the seats and then if you go back here you have um another seat and then a seat and then back there there's also more seats but they're down right now because we're about to get another um some baby stuff from Facebook marketplace but I love it it's exactly what I wanted I actually was kind of nervous that it wasn't going to be what I wanted and that I was gonna get it and hate it but I'm absolutely in love with it I'll show you the outside when it's actually light outside but it looks so nice so I actually have a story because it was kind of frustrating to me so my fiance and myself in the past year we bought two cars because when we turned in this Tesla, we had turned in my car. So we only had one car still when we had, when we originally bought the Tesla. Um, like we have the Fiesta, but we gave it to my mom because her car broke down pretty much. So we've been using the Tesla for all of our driving needs pretty much. And then we use, so like her original car didn't like entirely break down but it wasn't safe to like drive back from Virginia to Connecticut so we kept it here so we used that as EV 
personally, like if we have like an appointment or something, we try our hardest not to usually go. So when we got the Tesla, my neighbor came out and like made a comment about us being like rich, rich. Um, which is just like kind of rude. And he made like a comment about how we park because the Avenger it was parked. So there's like a fence that divides our properties and there's parked like half, like it's on the street, but it's like half in front of our property and half in front of his property. And he didn't like that. So he said something to us about it. Um, if we could just move it when he's trying to cut his grass and we were like, okay, like whatever, like sure. You know, and then he doesn't come and talk to us about anything like ever. And then when we got this car, and I want to, like, mind you, so my mom has been here helping us, and she's been parked. We moved the Avenger forward a little bit, so right now he's not cutting his grass. So we moved the Avenger forward a little bit so that we could um, park the Fiesta behind it. And it's been like that, like, almost the whole entire time she's been here. Um, every now and again, she'll park the Fiesta on the opposite side of our driveway, but, like, it's been like that for a little bit now. And then when we got this car, he came over and he's like, oh, so you guys got a new, a fancy new car, I see. And then he started complaining again about where we were parking, saying that he couldn't back his truck into his driveway with the car there. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. You had, like, he had so much space. He has space in front of the Avenger and the Fiesta where he could have backed his car into like I don't know what he was trying to say because what he was saying was that he was backing his car into his driveway and he couldn't do it that way because of where the car was placed but it doesn't make any sense to how his like driveway is set up and like where the cars are and then also on the other side of his driveway he also has more space and he has one car um because it's only him in that house. So he really just came over here to be snippy because we got another car and he just like, he just doesn't like us, I think, because we're young people because he talks to my mom with respect, but he doesn't talk to us with respect at all. And it just, it upsets me a little bit because me and Michael worked really hard for what we do have and like we make the decision to do extra things like DoorDash and stuff um well my son like naps or something like that like he'll obviously be in the car with us but like um and it's also like time for us to be together and stuff but like we make decisions to make money the way we do like we're both in the military so we both get paid that way but we also make decisions to like invest do DoorDash, that type of stuff, so that we can have the things that we have and be able to have another kid and stuff like that. So, for someone to just kind of get upset with us because we can afford nicer things, it's kind of frustrating to me. Um, especially because my whole life, um, with my mom, we struggled. Like, we were paycheck to paycheck. We didn't have nice things. Um, like, we had... I shouldn't say we didn't have nice things because my mom would go above and beyond. She would take out loans and stuff to make sure that we had nice things and that we were doing well, but it like put us like further in the pit. If you know what I'm talking about, like if you've been on that, you kind of like know what I'm talking about where your parents will like, um, I've heard of parents pawning stuff so their kids will have Christmas, that type of stuff. Um, so like for him to say anything about like how, um, We buy, we bought the cars that we did, like, we budget very well, we make sure that we're covering all of our expenses and stuff like that before we think about doing anything like buying a car or buying another house, because that's something that we're looking into in, like, the next, like, six months to two years, we want to, um, buy another house, we want to move, we want to rent out this house, um, because this house was more of an investment property for us, um, which I know that this guy doesn't understand. Like, there's a lot of things that we're trying to do. Like, we 
we're trying to put in a fence in the back and then we want to fix like I really want a fence all the way around but we haven't gone to that point yet so I don't know I'm just a little frustrated because there's tons of stuff that we want to do we kind of want to set it up so that there's space for the dog and there's space for Deej and there's all these things that we want to do and he thinks that we're mostly concerned with a tree in our backyard that doesn't impact him it's not like it goes over any side of the fence or anything like that so i don't know like it's frustrating and uh, yeah sorry for that rant i'm just like i think my hormones made me take it like really to heart like that he would say the things that he was saying and stuff so